All right, so I guess they call this trail Let's Peak. I don't know that that's what everybody else calls it, but you know, the, the new signs call it that. So let's go ahead and check it out. And I also got these fenders for my bike. I got them from Amazon. And uh, yeah, I'm assuming they must not have been made for 27 plus tires because they help minimally. I mean, I don't end up with tons of mud in my face or anything like that or up my up my back too much but on days like well a little bit today but really last week when it was really raining quite a bit more uh, yeah I get super muddy I just don't think these fenders are enough protection for the tires I have And go to the left here. One thing that I've really struggled with in the past three months of kind of learning how to ride and uh, just building endurance is you know, a lot of the trails here are either uphill or downhill. I mean, there's a fair amount of flat, but like this. Uh, but you know, I'd, I was fairly active, but you know, my legs were pretty weak. And uh, so after a little bit of climbing, or, or really even a lot of downhill, a little bit of downhill, trying to stand up into my seat, my legs just get so fatigued that I end up sitting down through almost everything, climbing over roots, rocks, anything. So that's kind of really something that I've been building to kind of get to the point where both of these trails go to the same area, same spot. Uh, getting to the point where uh, I can stand up for longer periods of time and not feel dead. Uh, that's, I think, really been where a couple of my wrecks have come from. Oh, slick. Uh, it is, you know, just being so fatigued that, that, uh, I couldn't be in the position I needed to be to actually like, prevent myself from getting in a bad spot. So I'm getting there. And I hope this summer I'm in good enough physical condition to ride some other places like uh, Alsea Falls or Oak Ridge. But right now it's kind of all about building endurance and kind of learning technique. I rode four-wheelers and dirt bikes when I was younger, so I think that helped a little bit transitioning onto mountain bikes, but yeah, there's no substitute for, for just getting out there and doing it. See, so yeah, even here I'm sitting down, it's just, I can really feel the burn in my legs. I've been riding usually about twice a week, anywhere from 8 to 14 miles on average. I've done as little as 5 or 6 and as much as 20. One 20 mile ride anyway. Alright, so this is uh, back up to that road is up to that Y that I was talking about. It's a dead end down there.
All right, so jumping back in here and staying to the left is Salal. Uh, after Salal is a, it's a nice little kind of steady climb out. You kind of take your time or bomb up at it. I, I don't bomb up anything, but a lot of people can. So to the left, like I was saying. Now the fun part of this trail is a couple little bridges down kind of moderately steep drops. Probably not going to take it too fast today since, like I said, it's pretty wet. Anyway, yeah, I hope to, here's the first bridge. Yeah, I hope to do Oak Ridge in those kind of places once I increase my endurance and feel like I can climb a bit more. An average day here at Y Pass, I do 1,500 feet on that 20 mile ride, which was a really slow ride. Uh, just kind of, again, trying to build endurance. It was kind of a non-stop ride where I went slow enough that I didn't have to take any breaks. But on that one, I think I did a little over 3,000 feet. But that was over five hours of riding. So you can get elevation here, but kind of got to work for it. Whew. That was kind of scary. So that's pretty much it for Solal. And then from here it just turns up and starts going up this old logging road. And it probably goes for, I don't know, half, half a mile or so. And these are the kind of climbs that really get to me. It's just, yeah, my legs start burning. So, I feel like it's something I just need to keep doing anyway. That's one thing with this high tower. Is I love the way it climbs. Feels like it has good traction. Uh, I get some pedal strikes, but not bad. Uh, but sometimes when it's either really pretty flat road or maybe just a slight incline I'm assuming it's the tires but you know sometimes it almost feels like like the brake is on and uh, you know it's just a little bit harder to push the bike forward So this is, like I said, pretty much an old overgrown logging road that they've turned into pretty much flat, single track. Alright, check back in at the top.